If you're new, thanks for joining my channel. If you like fashion, makeup, thrifting, and being creative and having fun, then you're at the right place. So thanks for joining me. If you don't follow me on social media, make sure you do because this week I asked you earlier, um, the audience, what kind of video did you want to see? So I had two options, either taking one of the mirrors that I thrifted a few weeks ago or months ago and turn it into an anthropology looking mirror or showing you guys my collection of thrifted purses or secondhand purses. Now the majority at the end said, the bags and I was recording that video and that was gonna go out this week but unfortunately ladies and gentlemen it just wasn't working technology problems but don't worry I got you that video will be coming up next week on Sunday or even maybe I'll try to post it up earlier so we'll see we'll see no promises but I got you I have that coming up and then some other uh, fun videos as I always say I always say my videos are fun probably not fun for anyone but they are for me and this is what this channel is all about having fun and being creative and yeah so i'll be showing you on this video how i took one mirror that i found for i can't even remember maybe seven dollars at most at a thrift store and i had a vision when i saw it and i'm like let's turn this into an anthropology looking mirror and that's exactly what i try to do now you'll see throughout the video that there was some highs and lows because I sure did have some and I learned a lot of things. And if you want to see how I thrift flip that mural, let's get started. For materials, this is what I used, a tablecloth to protect the area, spray paint, make sure that you use the right spray paint, this is for plastic, so that worked for me, some glue, then I found this um, mirror wooden applique on Amazon, so you can find them on Amazon or technically any store, but uh, I really like this ones and they were super cheap, and then we have some tape, and paper to cover the mirror from when I spray paint. Now, if you remember at the beginning of the video, I said that there was a lot of lows and they started here. Well, they started the minute I stepped outside. <laughs> so I thought that it would be a great day to do this thrift flip because it was so nice outside. Weather was so nice. However, it was extra windy to the next level. So as you can see, your girl was struggling here, but that's not even the fact or the point is that I don't know what I was thinking trying to tape this paper down on the mirror acting like I've never spray painted mirrors before or protected a mirror before spray painting it so I really don't know what I was thinking here so as you can see I was struggling because the tape wouldn't tape then it was super windy it was just not a good beginning but um I tried and I tried I still had hope then something clicked and I was like uh yes this is definitely not going to work so that's when I decided to just start all over and actually do do it the proper way so here I'm taping everything the proper way like I was supposed to do from the beginning so just take note if you are planning on painting any mirror spray painting it or whatever the best way to go about it at least that worked for me is to simply take your tape and tape all the mirror the sides corners and all of that so this is what i'm doing here and then i took the piece of paper after i've taped all my corners and edges i placed the paper here i'm just simply putting my protector or my tablecloth because i didn't want to get anything on the porch um what are those anyways um just to protect anything but again the wind wasn't in my favor because it was super windy and this mirror is heavy as well. So you'll see me here. Well, you won't see me, but I went off to try to find some rocks to help me keep this tablecloth down. So I was having a hard time. You'll see me find my little rocks, which didn't help at all. 
Now I took the appliques and started figuring out where I wanted them to go so I can start gluing them. Here was another downside because this glue works amazing on small projects. It glues really fast and it's very strong, but because it was so windy, it was drying way too fast. So at the end I ended up using another glue. But here you can see I'm just gluing, gluing, and then all of a sudden the lovely wind knocked down my tripod, my camera, and I broke my tripod. Yeah, so it was a hot mess. Now it was time to spray paint after I glued the appliques on the top. I was ready to spray paint. As you can see, the corners are missing because the glue was just drying way too fast. So I decided to just glue them later. Uh, ideally, you want to glue your pieces because you're saving time because you're spraying over everything. But this wasn't the case. So a quick note for anyone that's new to spray painting. Make sure that you're doing it in an open space, ideally outside. However, when you're doing it outside, you have to take into consideration the weather. So you don't want it to be too hot, too humid, or too windy. In my case, it was way too windy. I knew better that I should have not spray paint, but I had already started the project. And when I start something, there's no stopping me. So I just continued doing it. And as you can see, I'm spray painting very close to the actual frame. You don't want to do that. Why? Because when you do that, you're going to get those splatter marks and it's not cute. But because it was so windy for me, if I didn't do it like that, the spray paint wasn't sticking. It was just blowing the opposite way. So you got to do what you got to do, but at least now you know if you're doing it. Once I was done spray painting, I felt like I was missing something. So I decided to take some gold leaf paper, some Mod Pod, and then try to apply it to see if it gave it like that rustic look. So as you can see here, you take either water or some type of adhesive and you start simply putting where you want the gold leaf to go and then slowly remove any axis pieces. Started doing it, but I am kind of a perfectionist and I didn't like this. So I ended up just scraping it off because it wasn't working. So here's the before and this is the after. As you can see that she's most of making her appearance again. But uh, I had fun making this. I learned a lot and I think it pretty well. I mean, for 18, 20 bucks, come on. So what do you guys think? I think it turned out pretty well. I mean, for my first time, of course, like I mentioned at the beginning, now I know what I should have done differently, what I'm going to do next time if I decide to do another mirror. But for now, it does the job. I mean... How much did I end up spending? I think I ended up spending at the most, let's say $15, $15 to $200 to almost $500. Mm, yeah, I'll take the $15 one. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I'll see you in my next one. The next one will be my purses, the collection of all the purses that I've accumulated over the years with thrifting and secondhand. And if you take anything away from this video, I truly hope that you take or keep into consideration that it's so okay to mess up and try. That's what uh, flipping and and doing crafts is all about. At least for me it is. It's like an opportunity for you to just try. You might have a vision and then it might turn completely to something different than you weren't expecting. And I think that's what happened to me in this video. I don't think it's what happened because I try a lot of things and it wasn't working. And I had this vision and it didn't turn out how I wanted it. It's still a very pretty um, mirror and uh, I just elevated it and you learn and you grow. That's all I got to say. That's life, right? That's what life is about. But anyways, uh, enjoy this video and make sure you like, subscribe and hit that notification button so that you're notified when my next video will be up. Uh, thanks for joining me again. And so I'll see you soon and bye.